Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the DC Universe Classics Wave 17 Sinestro Core Scarecrow. Wave 17 is an all-lantern-inspired wave, giving us some of DC's characters straight out of their appearance in the Blackest Night storyline. One of the figures I was most looking forward to in this wave was the classic bat villain, Gone Yellow, Scarecrow. Scarecrow comes in the current standard DC Universe Classics blister card packaging, which, I must say, really seems to have a lot of empty space in that bubble, does it not? The back features a quick bio for Sinestro Core Scarecrow, and a look at the rest of the wave including the Collect and Connect figure. Scarecrow is all decked out in his Sinestro Core outfit, complete with trench coat. The figure utilizes the thinner male buck, which is an obvious choice for Scarecrow since he is a much thinner character. It would have been really odd seeing Scarecrow all buffed out like most of the bucks used in the line. The outfit features a black suit with yellow boots. The trench coat itself is made of a softer plastic so it does not hinder his movement too much, and yes, it is removable. Of course, the sleeves of the coat are sculpted on his arms, so if you remove the coat itself, Scarecrow is still going to have those sleeves of the coat permanently attached to his arms. So posing him without that coat will look rather odd. The detailing on the figure is once again top-notch, but I have to say where this figure really shines is in the sculpt and detailing on the head. That head sculpt is truly amazing. The mask looks like it is actually sitting atop Crane's face, with his evil eyes peering out from underneath. The detailing such as the stitching on the mouth and the patchiness of the mask's material makes it really pop out and look quite realistic. Even the top of his hat has a small tuft of straw poking out through. This is one of the nicest head sculpts in the line in my opinion. I think the horseman really nailed this one. The articulation is about what you would expect from a DC Universe Classics figure, with nothing really out of the ordinary going on here. Ball jointed head, shoulders, elbows, wrists, ab crunch, waist, thighs, knees, and ankles are all present. And as mentioned earlier, the soft plastic trench coat isn't really going to prevent you from posing this guy around. Scarecrow also includes a yellow lantern accessory. The main problem is that the way his hands are sculpted, it's hard to get him to hold it properly. So you have to do a little bit of playing around with it to find a good way for it to stay in his hands. Also included is a leg piece for your Collect and Connect Anti-Monitor figure. I won't lie, most of the figures I enjoy collecting in the DCUC line are Batman in his rogues gallery. So adding this Scarecrow to the collection, even if it's the Sinestro Core version, was a no-brainer for me. I know that a regular version of Scarecrow was released in the DC Super Heroes line prior to the classics, but I do still hope we see a regular version released soon enough. But this figure is definitely enough to keep me happy and will surely excite fans of the Blackest Night story arc. Wave 17 is starting to hit store shelves now, so happy hunting, and until next time... Thank you.